This is the second video for the 7-2-B lesson. We're now going to find the average speed um, from time 0 to time 5 um, for the Steel Dragon. If you imagine a ball falling the second you let go of the ball and you just drop it, it hangs there initially as it is accelerating and gravity is acting on it. And then towards the end of its drop, it is going um, much faster and then it hits the ground. Um, and so what I'm trying to say here is that in the same way, the steel dragon and the roller coaster is accelerating, which means that the speed at each time interval is different and it's getting greater. And we need something like calculus to figure out the instantaneous speed at each time, which we can't do right now. And we're not going to do, but something that we can do is we can find the average speed or average velocity using slope which essentially means we're going to imagine connecting these two points, 0, 400 and 5, 0, um, with a line or a line segment. And we're going to use our slope formula to figure out what was the average speed, meaning that at the start, the object was going slower, and at the end, it was going faster, and we're just going to have the average. So the first point we're going to use is 0, 400, the starting height. And... The last point we'll use is 5 comma 0, where the height was at 0 and time was at 5 seconds. So the slope formula, or change in height over change in time, or change in y over change in x. So y2 minus y1, I'm going to do 400 over 0. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And the label for this is the same as the label for the numerator and the denominator, which is height, which is feet, and time, which is seconds. And so this is at an average speed of negative 80 feet per second. And we'll include that um, in this spot. And there we go. So average speed over time zero to time five. 